Say you bought yourself a brand new Amazon Fire Stick, Fire Stick Max or a Fire TV Cube in the Prime sales and you're just wondering what are some of those cool tips and tricks, some of those secret settings you can adjust on your device really just to get the most from it. Well, let's start with this one as you'll find out very quickly that the remote control on these devices sometimes can drain the batteries very quickly. How can I check to see what is the exact status of my batteries in my remote control? Well, if you go over to the settings, let's click on that. Let's click on remotes and Bluetooth devices. Let's click on that. Let's click on the Amazon Fire TV remotes. And we can see here it says battery status okay, but let's take it to the next level and say we want the exact details of the battery. Now to do this on your device, if you just press the home key, and you're now going to go to find, and you're going to search for the developer tools menu. So let's just type that in. So developer, here it is. I can click on that. It's a completely free application. This one here, click on that again. And you then see this screen. So I've already got it installed on my device, but if you need to install it first, install that, open that up, and you'll then see this. If I just turn on the system x-ray, let's turn that on. And this gives you a slightly more advanced view where I can now see how busy my Fire Stick is. I can see how much RAM is available. But most importantly for this tip, if you look in the top right, it tells me that my remote control right now has 87% battery left. So a really great tip to find out exactly the state of your remote. And you can quickly find out if it's an issue with the batteries or something else. So that's the first tip. Now for the next one, if I press the home key, as you probably noticed that as I'm navigating around, we're getting this very annoying clicking sound. Um, I don't like it personally, but again, if you were to turn that off, I can go over to my settings, go over to display and sounds. Let's click on that. Let's go over to audio. And we can now see we have the option here, the navigation sound. So I can click on that. That now says off. So now when I press the home key, we can now see I can move around without any of those annoying clicking sounds. That's the next tip. Next up we have profile. So with the new Fire Stick home screen, you can create multiple profiles, which will allow you to have different recommendations, custom watch lists, and just allow you to have more of a personal experience when you are using your own profile. Now you can change your profile by clicking on this, the profile icon, but the other thing you can do, which you may not know is, regardless of wherever you are, if you just press and hold the home key, and you can now change your profile. And you can also use that long press home key shortcut wherever you are on the Fire Stick, on the home screen, or maybe inside an application. As long as you long press the home key, you can quickly access that shortcut. Did you know you could get a fully working live TV guide directly on the home of your 4K Fire Stick or really any of these Amazon devices? Now to do that, just go over to your settings, go down, and you'll see there is a live TV section. Now, if you don't see this, this means you have no compatible applications installed on your device. Now I'm in the UK and I've just installed two applications, which is Red Bull TV and also Pluto TV. And of course, both are completely free on the standard Amazon App Store. Let's click on that now. And we can see I now have access to 69 channels. I can quickly synchronize the sources. Let's do the first one. Let's do the second one. That's now all done. Let's back out of that. Let's go to the home screen. And we can see now if we go down, we can actually see we have a dedicated section for guide. So this is your live TV guide and it aggregates the content from those free applications that you've installed and puts it directly on your home screen. So all of these things are available to watch right now. So let's say for example, I want to watch uh, this thing over here. I can click on that and that then launches that straight away and I can now start enjoying all of this free content through that free guide directly from the home screen. Okay, let's back out of that. Next up, your device is running a bit slow, maybe running a bit sluggish. What's the easiest way you can restart here? Now, when I say restart, I don't just mean pressing and holding the home button and clicking on sleep. 
what I actually mean is a full reboot. Now, when your device reboots, all of those running processes, all of those things running in the background are actually terminated. So it is kind of like refreshing your device. Now, the quickest and easiest way to do that is just press the play and the select buttons together. So these two buttons I'm going to press and hold. So play and select, ready, steady, press and hold. Then count to five, four, three, two, one we get the message that your device is now powering off. Now, especially if you are running lots of different applications, lots of APKs, lots of different things on your device, then I highly recommend always rebooting your device before you start your streaming session or your movie night, whatever it is, really just restarting your device once a day really does keep it running at optimal performance. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the word fire stick in the comments, I know that you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Next up, we have home screen customization, whereby we can see that we have six application shortcuts on the home screen. How can we customize those? If you go over to the right and click here where it says all apps. If I now go to the bottom, I can now go to my app library and this will now show me firstly, all of the applications tied into my account. I can then move to the right and just see all of the applications on my device. And lastly, I can see the ones which are not installed. So these applications I've installed on other Fire TV devices, but which are not installed on this device. So let's say for example, if I go to uh, install on this device and I now want to move the Aerial Dream screensaver to the top. So if I press the options key on that, which is the one with the three lines, uh, also known as the context key. I can click on that and go to show in your apps. Let's do that. Let's press the back button, back again, and we can now see the application in my apps and channels. So any application that you've got installed on your device that you can't see here, just go to your app library, find it in the list, press the context key and select show in your apps. Once it gets into this list, so say, for example, now I want to move this to my uh, top row. I can again press the context key on that and select move to front. And this will now take it right to the top and it will become one of your six main shortcuts. And we can see that there. So that's how you can basically customize the home screen shortcuts on your device. Now for the last tip, which is quite a few tips in one, as all of these devices have the Amazon Assistant built in, you really can do a lot with your device by just using your voice. So at most basic level, I can just say, set a timer for five minutes. Give that a second. We should see a message that the timer has now been created. There it is. I can set another timer, set a timer for 20 minutes. Let that go in. Now I can now use my voice and say, show me my timers. Here we can see both my timers in this nice interface. I can cancel the timers. I can make that adjustment. They're all gone. Other things like what's the weather in London. So not only do you get a response, you get to see a nice sort of looking graphic. You can see the weather today. You can see it's getting very hot, but also you can control your application. So for example, I can say watch unbox therapy on YouTube. Give that a second, that should automatically load YouTube for us. It should then automatically find his channel and start playing his latest videos. So very easy to control and it takes you straight into that content. Similarly with other applications like Netflix and some of the other ones, you can also use your voice to go directly into your content. Now also in terms of searching, so for your third party applications, you can also use your voice and search for content. And this feature was added fairly recently. So if I open up one of these other applications and where you'd normally type something in by using the keypad, as long as you see this, instead of me typing something, clicking on something, I can just use my voice and say, Avengers. And that's basically how you can use your voice across your third party application. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do hope at least some of those tips and tricks, especially if you are new to these Amazon devices, were helpful. And just before you go, guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hypevanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get 
total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth, with confirmed zero data logging at just over three dollars a month so really at that price point to get all of that protection i think it's an absolute no-brainer and the offer is only for the next two weeks so if you are interested definitely have a look in the video description or the pinned comment i think it's definitely worthwhile checking out do leave me a comment below let me know what you think I'll also leave a link in the pinned comment if you do want to fully unlock your fire stick or jailbreaker, some people call it. I'll also leave that step-by-step -step guide for you guys to watch. So I really appreciate your support. Please do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.